John 4 verses 43 to 54. At the end of the two days, Jesus went on to Galilee. He himself had said that a prophet is not honored in his own hometown. Yet the Galileans welcomed him, for they had been in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration and had seen everything he did there. As he traveled through Galilee, he came to Cana, where he had turned the water into wine. There was a government official in nearby Capernaum whose son was very sick. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and begged Jesus to come to Capernaum to heal his son, who was about to die. Jesus asked, Will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? The official pleaded, Lord, please come now before my little boy dies. Then Jesus told him, Go back home. Your son will live. And the man believed what Jesus said and started home. While the man was on his way, some of his servants met him with the news that his son was alive and well. He asked them when the boy had begun to get better, and they replied, Yesterday afternoon at one o'clock his fever suddenly disappeared. Then the father realized that that was the very time Jesus had told him, Your son will live. And he and his entire household believed in Jesus. This was the second miraculous sign Jesus did in Galilee after coming from Judea. Listen closely, for the voice of the Lord echoes through the depths of your soul, calling you to awaken to the divine purpose within. My beloved. This narrative underscores the transformative impact of genuine faith and the boundless compassion of my Son. It reveals that faith is not merely about receiving blessings but about trusting in the character and promises of Jesus, even when circumstances seem bleak. As you reflect on this story, I invite you to examine the depth of your own faith. Are you willing to trust in Jesus' authority and goodness, even in the midst of uncertainty and adversity? Will you surrender your fears and doubts, believing that He is able to bring about miraculous breakthroughs in your life? May this encounter serve as a reminder that no situation is beyond the reach of Jesus' healing touch, and no heart is too broken for His transformative love. Let your faith be anchored in His unchanging character and be strengthened by the assurance that He is faithful to His promises. Actions to Take Deepen your faith. Invest time in nurturing and strengthening your faith through prayer, meditation on God's Word, and fellowship with other believers. Allow your trust in Jesus to deepen as you surrender your fears and doubts into His hands. Boldly bring your needs to Jesus. Like the desperate father, boldly bring your needs and concerns before Jesus in prayer. Trust that He hears your cries and is able to bring about miraculous intervention according to His perfect will and timing. Testify to God's faithfulness. Share your experiences of God's faithfulness and provision with others, testifying to the transformative power of faith in Jesus Christ. Let your life be a living testimony to His goodness and grace, drawing others into a deeper relationship with Him. In this sacred moment, let our souls intertwine with the Divine, as we surrender our hearts to the whispers of eternity through prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the example of unwavering faith and divine intervention demonstrated in this encounter between the desperate Father and your Son, Jesus Christ. Help me to deepen my faith in you and to trust in your unfailing goodness and love. Lord Jesus, I bring my needs and concerns before you, knowing that you are able to bring about miraculous breakthroughs in my life. Strengthen my faith, that I may boldly approach your throne of grace with confidence, trusting in your power to intervene on my behalf. Holy Spirit, empower me to testify to your faithfulness and provision in my life, that others may be encouraged and drawn into a deeper relationship with you. Use me as a vessel of your love and grace, that your name may be glorified in all that I do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.